guys, Magpie here. Uh, just talking today a little bit about Crossout. Now, Crossout is a build and find game. Uh, not unlike games like uh, Robocraft, which you may have heard of, uh, Galactic Scrap Battle, something or another. I'm sure there's plenty of others out there. But the one little difference about this game, well, I suppose there's a couple, is that rather than using individual blocks, you actually use components to build your vehicles, which is pretty neat and honestly a lot more convenient. I mean, why I throw together a whole bunch of blocks? We can take solid components and slap together a pretty coherent vehicle out of them. I mean, you even get ducks. Look at this. Look at this. Who gives a duck? I do. So, honestly, uh, I mean, this game's in beta. Well, soon to be in beta. Uh, right now, it's in kind of a closed beta, going to be going to an open beta. Um, I have to say, I mean, the main issue right now is when it comes down to servers, in that... Uh, if you're playing in the US, uh, you might not be able to get matches. Uh, cool little tip right here. You go to your options, and then you go down all the way down to the bottom, and you can actually select any region. You'll start getting matches, but it's going to be a bit laggy. So it's been kind of hard to get a really good impression for what this game's going to be like when it's properly playing. But, I mean, the physics are pretty good. The building system's pretty fun. Uh, most of the leveling mechanics are pretty good. You basically have these various factions, but the best thing are the physics. <laughs> Look at this! Right, so one thing about this game... Oh, you know what? I think... Oh, war has changed. So they just came out with a patch that changes how some of these parts interact. So basically before, all the red components that you see on there those were a lot lighter, and they would be shot through, in other words, absorbing damage, but now that's changed, so my, my Driftmobile handles a little bit differently. But, uh, so, I mean, the physics in this game are pretty neat. I mean, in most uh, build and find them games, you have kind of physics as things come apart, but it's really not nearly as spectacular as this. I mean, this is probably one of the first real... I don't know if you'd use AAA, but this is made by the same fellows, uh, Gaijin, who made War Thunder. And uh, I don't know if it's the exact same dev team, but these guys seem to know what they're doing, and honestly, they've made a pretty sweet game here. So, let me summon some bots, actually show you what this thing can do. So, there's a little bit of uh, rhyme and reason to the madness here. Uh, as you can see, you can absolutely tear vehicles apart. There's a little bit of a difference between uh, various kinds of components you put on your vehicle. Like, for instance, these spiky bumpers I have on the side don't actually add HP, which you'll see down at the bottom of the screen. But they do have a pretty high damage resistance in and of themselves. And, uh, I mean, I guess the best thing to say about that right now without getting too deep into the system, is that it's it's actually fairly complex. The whole building system and all the things that you can do and why you'd want to do certain things and other things, some of your options that you can use to build with, it's all pretty impressive, honestly. And, uh, I mean, this is a pretty fun game. Some of the stuff you can build, too, is amazing. So they have their own bit here where people can put up stuff that they've built, like a purple hot dog. That's a purple hot dog. So, something in Russia, Rush Point B, I don't know. And then you have uh, some pretty nifty stuff that people make. And the cool thing, too, is that you can just drive them. So you get to run around driving people's various creations. Uh, same thing with some of the NPC factions. So there's a lot of try it before you buy it. Uh, going on here. And while it is a free-to-play game, so you're going to have some things that they are kind of urging you to buy, uh, I actually found it was pretty fair in regards to advancement. I mean, there's there's nothing that I found was too extreme uh, when I was leveling up. At first, I was kind of, I wasn't too sure about some of the elements, but honestly, uh, throughout the beta, it really seems like, because I had been in beta on and off in this game for a while, but the devs seem to listen to feedback, and they listen pretty well. So, cross out, check it out, guys. Uh, it ain't going to cost you anything but a bit of time, and I feel it's pretty worth it. This is not a magpie. This is a magpie. This doesn't conduct science. This does conduct science. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe so you can get more science.